Hi guys, as usual it's me, just an off-screen voice and you are watching Review Machines. Today I want to make a review of my new electric scooter, Itwau S2 Booster, the latest edition. I decided to buy it cause electric scooter is a very convenient kind of transport. As to the model, I choose one of the most popular one. There are a lot of feedbacks in the internet in favor of this model. They say it's one of the most powerful and qualitative scooters under $1000. I ordered this scooter at the AliExpress, in the official shop of the factory. It was delivered just in 3 weeks. Now I got it, and today we will check this device to find out if it's worth its money. First of all, it's rather powerful scooter, it has 500 watts motor and the maximum speed is 35 km per hour. Carrying capacity is 120 kilos and the range is 40 km. There is a front motor wheel, tires are made of a special rubber that provides a very smooth riding. The folding gear looks quite reliable. Lithium battery is mounted inside the footboard. I like build quality, each detail is made so neatly. Paint is also nice. There is a suspension system at the both wheels. It's a very useful feature for comfortable riding. The brakes is electric with the recuperation. And there is mechanical brakes at the rear wheel. The folding system is pure and simple. To unfold the scooter, just push the handlebar till a click, then pull it to a proper height. And unfold the handles, that's all, it's ready to go. Do the same things to fold it. It's quite compact and comfortable to carry. It's even possible to take it to the public transport. It weighs slightly more than 10 kilos, so it may seem a bit heavy for children and women. Dashboard is also simple. There are two handles, throttle and brakes. Let's turn it on. At the display we see speed, range, battery capacity, lights, clock and even outside temperature. Also there is a light indicator. The front light is very bright and the horn is loud. Well, it's high time to test this scooter. And I'm going to try it myself. But frankly speaking, I haven't had a lot of practice of riding a scooter. That is why a helmet is a must for me. The very first thing that everyone notices when firstly riding this scooter, it's a great dynamics. I really didn't expect this device to be so fast and powerful. My weight is almost 90 kilos, but the scooter takes off very swiftly, so I have every reason to say that it's definitely not kid stuff. This thing is powerful enough even for heavy riders like me. By the way, the maximum weight for this is well, 120 kilos. Then I should say I was quite seriously impressed how smooth this scooter moved. If you once tried to ride a cheap scooter on a paving tile, you know how tough it is without a suspension. But I moved on tile without any problems. Soft wheels made of a special rubber together with a suspension system provide a very smooth ride. Moreover, according to the manufacturer's statement, this model of the scooter is prepared for use on a poor roads and it should have a long product life. Also I should mention that fenders are made of very flexible plastic, so they won't be cracked even if you bump into something. Now let's ride on asphalt, and of course it's the best pavement for any scooter, so I really enjoyed riding there. And again I say about the smoothness, I think it's one of the main advantages of this scooter. And that results from the great soft wheels and suspension. By the way, the tires are solid, and I think they are better than inflated tires, cause they provide better rolling. Well, another great feature is the cruise control. So you don't need to push throttle all the way, just choose a proper speed and enjoy your rides. Also, there is an option that is good for saving a battery. You can set a limit of speed and turn on a kickstarter. It means that motor starts to work only after you push the scooter by your leg. You know, I realize that I speak only about advantages, but I don't want to tout this scooter. I just can't find any drawbacks so far. And now let's do some tests. First of all, the maximum speed. Well, 
Well, as you can see, I got 27 km per hour on rather rugged asphalt and 90 kilos rider. According to the official specs, the maximum speed is 35 km per hour, but if we had had a fine road and light rider, the result I think would have been 35. Now you can see the suspension working. Due to this feature, you may ride on such rugged roads and jump from borders without any damage for the scooter. Electric brake works perfectly. It stops the scooter rather quickly, but you should know that it may be not enough to use only an electric brakes. That is why there is also mechanical brakes that works much more tough. So if you need to stop as soon as possible, use the both kinds of brakes. Of course, we can't do without off-road. We like it so much, you know. Well, seriously speaking, the engine 500 watts is powerful enough to leave the asphalt and go off-road. And again, big wheels and suspension do a lot of good for the off-road riding. Certainly, it goes without saying that the ground should be hot and dry. Don't even try to ride your scooter in mud. By the way, I tried, but that is another sad story. But as you can see on dry ground, this scooter goes very well. But you also should know that you will run out of the battery much faster riding on the ground. Now I think it's high time to speak about the most important characteristic of any electric transport. It's range. Today we've had a hard test for the scooter. Many stops and accelerations, rugged roads and hills. All this stuff reduces the battery greatly. But I got the range 22 km without charging. I think it's a decent result. By the way, a light riders easily have a range of this model 35 km. And according to the official specs, the maximum range is 40 km. Well, now let's try to find some drawbacks. It's a really hard task. But maybe I want to see here the possibility for charging gadgets. Then the scooters might seem a bit heavy, especially for children and women. And the most important drawback is the price. I think it's a bit expensive. But high quality things always have high prices. And as to this scooter, it's a really qualitative thing. Fine metal, smooth riding, powerful motor. Undoubtedly I like this scooter. If you are interested, I leave the links in the description where I bought this scooter. And now let's call it a day. Thanks for watching guys. Please consider subscribing the channel if you like this video. It will be many more interesting materials here. Goodbye.